In this tutorial, you are going to learn how to add music to your Prezi presentation that runs throughout the entire presentation rather than stopping once you go to another element within your presentation. The way that you're going to do this is through a program called Adobe Flash. So that's what we're going to do first. Now here's just a real quick hint. I would not recommend adding this sound to your Prezi until you're totally finished um, with your Prezi and make that the last thing that you add. You'll see why in a little bit, but you can feel free, feel free to go ahead and, and create this SWF file anytime, but just don't add it to your Prezi until later. Okay, first thing that we're going to do is go to our Spotlight search and type in Adobe Flash CS4 and it'll find, it'll take a little while to find it, but eventually it'll come up. Click on Adobe Flash CS4. Now it'll take a little while on your computer for this to open up if it's not already open. Uh, maybe 45 seconds to a minute a lot of times. Um, but once it does, go ahead and click on Flash File Action Script 3.0. And it will eventually bring up a blank white stage. Um, that is actually what shows in the Adobe Flash movie um, once you actually create it. Um, that's this part right here. That is the stage. Um, what you're going to do once that opens up is click on File and we're going to import our audio file. Okay, so again, that's File, Import, and Import to Library. Again, that's File, Import, and Import to Library. And I've already navigated to my audio file. Um, if you have not yet done that, then you'll need to find it within um, your finder. And then whenever you found it, go ahead and click on it and hit import to library. It's going to go through the import process and it'll eventually show up right here in your library tab. Now, you probably have by default your properties tab selected. Um, simply click on the library tab and that will bring you to that, that panel. So there's your audio file. Now all we're going to do with that audio file is click on it and drag it over onto the stage and drop it. Now you probably didn't notice any change on your stage, but there was a little change on the timeline here and you have a little squiggly line for the audio there. That's really the only change that you're going to see. That's the only way you can tell that that audio has been added. Now this is very important uh, because Prezi will give you an error sign um, if you don't do this step and you also will not be able to remove the audio once you put it on there, which is annoying. So please make sure to do this step, and that is to add some type of graphic or, graphic or some type of uh, image to your stage, this part here. The easiest way to do that is simply to um, click on the rectangle tool icon and draw a rectangle that covers the entire stage. Again, that's probably the easiest way to do it, and that's it. That's all you need to do. Now. Before we export it to an SWF file, um, we're going to save the file, and we'll do that on our desktop. We'll just name this Prezi Music File. Now this is an FLDA file. That's not what you're going to insert into Prezi. Um, we just have to do this before we can um, create the SWF file. Hit Save, and then the next step is to hit Command Enter. Again, that's Command Enter. Enter, and that's going to export it to an SWF. That's going to go to your desktop, and as soon as you do that, it's going to bring up a preview of what you've created. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Command Enter, and there's my music file. Little 80s rock there. Um, so you can just close out of that, and then you can go to your desktop and check to see that that is located there. There's Prezi music file, SWF. And that's what I need. Now, next, we're going to go to Prezi. Here's my Prezi. And I'm simply going to click on Insert and File. Now, again, if this is not the end of your project, you may not want to insert it at this point. You can reverse it, but it's just a little annoying. Um, so once you've done that, Insert and then File, you're going to highlight your SWF file. Click Open. Now it's going to go through the process of uploading that uh, SWF file, which takes a little bit of time, uh, and then it's going to then download the file so that it can play it for you. So that's what it's doing right now, and then it'll start playing immediately. Okay, now here's the annoying thing, is that it is going to play without being able to be stopped. The way that I was able to stop the sound was by hitting mute. Okay. 
Um, now, I'll show you how to remove that. That's why I said you want to do it at the end of your presentation, your Prezi creation, um, so that it's not constantly playing while you're working on your Prezi. Um, now, before I show you how to remove it, go ahead and click on the, the, the element, the SWF, and then we're going to shrink this down. And you can shrink it as small as you want so that it doesn't show. You can place it underneath another element, however you want to do that. But that's, that's how you're going to get it so that it, it's not annoyingly out there in front. Okay. Now, in order to delete that, you are going to need to, and again, that's still playing. Some good music there. Um, that's still playing. So what you're going to need to do is somehow you'll have to play around with the zoom in, zoom out, and then eventually you should be able to select it and hit delete. Okay, so now it's st actually still playing when I unmute it. Um, what you'll need to do in order to get it to, to stop playing is hit exit, and then you'll be able to go back into your Prezi again, and it will have stopped playing. Okay, so it's gone. So if you added it prematurely, you can always delete it, uh, assuming that you've put an object in Flash um, before you've uh, exported it. So that's it. Have fun.